Welcome to Yester Quickies, a speedy culinary trip back in time. Today we're traveling to 1949 to discover, oh, the flaming cabbage. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. Oh my goodness, flaming cabbage. This is a serious impress your guests at your next cocktail party and crazy easy. We're gonna get started right now. Okay, so we're gonna take a cup. What is this gel? It's a sterno. So I bought the gel, but I know they also have liquid. Either one doesn't matter, but get yourself a little tin of sterno and you're gonna have a whole head of cabbage. You can use green like I have, you can use purple, you can use white, you can use any one you want. And you're gonna kind of place the sterno right on the very top. And then you're gonna take your trusty little knife and we're gonna just kind of make a little guide right around the sterno so we know exactly how big we want this hole. Are you following me? Are you figuring out what's happening? Okay, so now we have our little hole right on top and we're gonna cut down into it. And we're gonna go about six inches deep. So, I mean, the cabbage leaves are not very thick at all. It's just, you got a lot to cut through. So we're just gonna start just like that, pulling out the cabbage and making our hole and I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, so here is our beautiful cabbage and if you notice, yeah, I cut myself while I was doing it, but that's okay. It's important that your knives are sharp. Okay, so let me give you a couple little tips. Um, when you do the, your cabbage, you wanna use a knife. You also probably wanna grab a big spoon and you wanna do it on its side over the sink. And you're just gonna keep cutting and cutting and, sorry, and scooping and scooping until you have a hole in your cabbage that your sterno will fit beautifully in and you want the rim of it, so you can see kind of on the side, you know, you really can't see it. It's just right below the surface. So that's our cabbage. <laughs> and now the rest is super easy. I have a can of black olives and I have a package of little cute little sausages. Now you can use the smoked sausages. You can use any really little sausage you like. You can probably use cut up hot dogs if you want, but this is the recipe, just little sausages. What I've done is I've already put them in a pan and heated them through because you're not gonna be able to cook them on here. This is just like, you know, an interactive appetizer. So they're already cooked through. They don't have to be hot. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cute little toothpick and the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna find a good olive here. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put an olive on and the purpose of the olive besides a little snack is to keep your fingers away from the flame. Is that adorable? And now we're gonna come and then we're gonna take our sausage and put it right in and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in our cabbage. How much do you love this? Okay, so I will be right back when our little cabbage comes completely covered with these little kebabs. Okay, we're back and look at our little cabbage. Guys, this is pure 1950s. It does not get any more retro than this right here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some beautiful parsley and you're gonna just kind of line your plate with this parsley, get my martini out of the way because parsley was a very, very big thing in the 50s. Everything needed a parsley garnish. So we're gonna make it all pretty, just like that. <laughs> Have a little parsley going everywhere. And then we're gonna put our little sterno right in the center, just like that. And you, oh, let's not forget this. Little rolls, cute little rolls that we're gonna serve well, we're gonna put our sausages on. And then sauces, you need sauces. I have mustard, I have barbecue sauce, and I have ketchup. You can use and serve with any sauce you want. Okay, so you're ready to see this thing in action? I'm so excited. All right, so we take our sterno, and you light it, <laughs> just like that. And then once we get the flame going, it's hard to see the flame on camera, 
but I promise you there's a little, see it's just a little tiny blue flame that's going. And then all you do is you have your guests take a little, little roll, just like that. Take a little sausage, kind of warm it over the fire. See, this is why you want to cook them ahead of time because if you just take them from cold like this, they're not gonna, whoops, a little bit on fire. We're fine. <laughs> and actually, if, you, if this does catch on fire, you just stick it right into the cabbage and it'll go right out. It's like not a big deal at all. But this is why we go ahead and pre-cook them. And then, I'm gonna put it right onto our roll. Are these guys cute or what? And then you just have your guests take it and put whatever they want. And look, you have an appetizer straight out of the 1950s. That is just glorious. So come take a trip to the 1950s with me. You are gonna love this. Your friends are gonna love this and it's pretty darn good too. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. You can share your recipes or make requests by joining my Facebook group. Made one of my dishes? I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next video.